Hi, I'm going to demo the terms and conditions pop-up on user login. Once the plugin is installed on your WordPress website, it will generate a pop-up such as you see one now on your page that will show for any user that will log in to your website for the first time. The pop-up will have a button to decline and log out that will force the user to log out of your website or an accept button that will um, let them travel further into your website and um, explore your content. The accept button will be registered in the database and you will have a um, record of who and when accepted your terms and conditions. Other elements of the plugin is the plugin um, the pop-up generated title, the pop-up static text, and the content of the pop-up itself. Let's take a look at how to install the plugin. To add the plugin, you just navigate under your plugins, under the administrator dashboard. Once there, search for terms and conditions pop-up and find the one with this logo and the title of terms and conditions pop up on user login. Go ahead and install it and activate it. Once you have activated the plugin, uh, you can go and visit the settings under settings, terms pop up on user login. There you will find four tabs. Um, the one being the first one being general settings. And you can see there you have uh, terms and pop up terms pop up on user login modes um, one is don't show pop up which means that that's activated by default uh, which means the pop up will not show until you have everything set up the way you want it in order to help you set up everything the way uh, you want it there's something called test mode while in test mode you have to know that the pop up will show every time uh, for every user on every refresh. That would be most uh, likely useful for you if you have no users and you are just setting up the pop-up for the very first time. And then, of course, you have show pop-up, which actually activates the pop-up and operates the pop-up normally as uh, you would want it to uh, use it for your users. The second tab is terms pop up on user login. Here you will be able to set up the pop up with the content um, and the activities that you want um, to run on your front end. So first you have the pop up title and subtitle. This would be right here, the title and subtitle. Then you have an option to show pop up on every time. That would mean that the pop-up would show even for users who are logging in the second time and they have already accepted the first time. That would be sort of forcing them to accept the pop-up every time when they are logging in. Then you have the button labels. You have the access button label that you can override. You can have um, the decline label override. and each of these buttons have options to redirect the user somewhere else. So technically, let's say you want to redirect the user to a certain page after login, and if they have clicked accept, maybe there could be their user dashboard or something like that. So you could direct the user flow. If they have declined the um, pop-up, then you could just redirect them to your homepage. That is the default behavior, but you could also redirect them away from your website to another website. If that's the case, make sure that you put the full URL to the other website together with the HTTP or HTTPS protocol at the beginning of the URL. By default, the access button is disabled until the user uh, scrolls down uh, to the page and has read through your terms and conditions. This can be um, disabled 
and basically allowing the user to accept terms even without scrolling. Uh, if you want to do that, then you can check this option and let your users accept the terms and conditions immediately, even without scrolling. Then there are two confirmation texts, and we can demo that shortly. Basically, once the user has clicked either the accept or the decline button, there's a short confirmation message that you can show until they are being redirected. In this case, let's just hit accept. And you can see the short confirmation message. Now, since we are currently in test mode, just as a reminder uh, for your admin user to turn the test mode eventually off to go into the show pop-up mode that we have been talking about, there's this temporary um, prompt that reminds them that they're currently in test mode and they should turn that off when they are ready to um, go live. Then of course, there is the actual content of the pop-up that you can fill out in this um, text area. There are some more advanced options here that we will talk about a bit later. Now let's take a look at the third tab, which is display options. Display options basically lets you configure the uh, looks of the pop-up to be more in line with your theme if you want that. So there could be uh, options like the width of the pop-up or what should be the width of the actual pop-up. You can go by default, it's 500. You can go wider or the widest. Then of course you have a tall pop-up or a default pop-up. Uh, let's just change these and take a quick look at what would the changes be? Then there are the accept button size. You, the buttons could grow to small, medium, large sizes, and also the button colors. If you want, you can color them uh, any way you like. Then the decline button size and decline button text color and button color. Uh, as you can see, now that the uh, display settings have been modified, I'm seeing a taller and a much wider uh, pop-up. These were the basic settings. And as you can see, uh, you can get started with using this plugin in no time at all, once you have configured it to your liking. Uh, now, since because these actions, decline or accept, is recorded in the database, when you are um, reviewing a user, if you wanna uh, figure it out if they have accepted or not, then on the user editor interface for the user, um, you will be able to see if they have accepted or not the pop-up. Um, to see that, just hit edit on the user and scroll down to terms pop-up on user login section, and you will be able to see if they have accepted the the uh, condition, terms and conditions or not. Here we can see a user who has accepted the terms um, and conditions when they have logged in to your website. Uh, that would be indicated by this check mark on the user editor interface of the user. Now let's take a look at some more advanced options. In order to use more advanced options, you have to go back to general settings and apply a license key that you can purchase uh, through the website that you can reach from this link. Purchase a license key here. Once you have your license key that arrives uh, in your email, uh, you can just go ahead, paste it in here and activate it and be sure to um, save changes once you have activated it. Once this has been activated, there are more options available for you. And on the terms pop up on user login tab, you can scroll down and have um, a couple of extra options here. One is to um, increase or modify the font size of the terms and conditions. Another one is that you could swap out the actual terms and conditions from the text area that we have up here with an actual terms and conditions page. If you have a certain page that you use 
in other places as well, or you have a link to uh, on your website that you direct your users to, you can just directly use that in the content of the pop-up by uh, selecting the page right here. This also allows you to have more rich content in the pop-up um, that could be media links or some other stuff as well that you have uh, edited on your actual terms and service terms of service page. Um, another advanced option would be, let's say you don't want this pop-up to bother administrators and editors when they are logging in, especially if you have the um, always show pop-up um, mode turned on. So technically you could restrict um, the pop-up only for um, certain user roles. Uh, let's say you only want it to um, show the pop-up for your subscribers and contributors. You could just uh, do that right here. Um, since uh, eventually you will be out of test mode, um, but you still want to maybe test or refine the pop-up further. Um, if you have the license key activated, there is this field that activates for you, which is the designated test user. Now, uh, in order to do that, uh, you would have to know the user ID. Uh, this could be a specific developer you're working with or your own user ID, which would be shown here um, as the example. Uh, in this case, you could just put the user ID um, right here. That would mean for this user, uh, the pop-up would always show uh, even if they have accepted or declined it. And that would mean that the test mode is always on for that single user. If you have your license key activated, that would also give you the ability to um, see in the user list table uh, from the list of all the users who have accepted your uh, latest terms and conditions. It will also have more information on the editor interface of that user, which would uh, be logging um, more information about when and how the user has accepted the terms and conditions. That would mean that the user accepted term date would be filled out and um, some more advanced logging can be turned on. In order to use more advanced uh, options, uh, go on the fourth tab, advanced options. Here you will be able to download a CSV report of uh, who and when have accepted your terms and conditions. There's another option here to reset all users. Um, this should be used uh, cautiously. What this does, it will force um, all your users to re-accept your terms and conditions on their next login. This could be very useful if you have updated your terms and conditions and you would want to force all your users to accept them again. Once they have accepted the terms, of course, it would no longer show again until you run the reset again after possibly another update. Now, there are some even more advanced options here if you want advanced logging turned on. Um, this feature will log every single user action on the terms pop-up. Um, that means it would also log, let's say, declines and when the decline has happened. This would be more important if you want to run specific analytics on how your updates on your user terms and conditions have um, affected the user behavior. Now, this could be also very important if you have the always show pop-up on login uh, option turned on because that way uh, you can uh, technically track the user actions at every login and um, see how the terms and conditions are affecting your users. If you have enjoyed this video and uh, want to try out the plugin, please do so. I will have a link to the, in the description and um, please um, feel free to try it out, comment and uh, rate the plugin. Um, you can also uh, have uh, support questions 
that um, you can file support questions right here. You can always um, ask for uh, support uh, from this link right here, uh, have support questions, but also we are always looking to improve the plugin um, add by adding new features. So if you would want a new feature or something um, that you would want to change, feel free to reach out. We have a contact page linked in the FAQ section of the plugin. We are also looking for um, other suggestions on how to improve the plugin and what would be the best new feature that you would like. If you would want to suggest or request a feature for your own website, then please feel free to do so by um, contacting the, uh, directly us through our contact page and um, doing it that way. If you have um, a license key, an active license key, you can always um, ask for uh, the terms and conditions support uh, under the support questions of the website. So please feel free to ask uh, support questions and we would love to hear your feedback uh, on this plugin. Thanks.